killers of the deep. In the northern Pacific, the Eskimos call him the sea wolf, a name well suited for this ferocious savage killer, well which attains a length of over 30 feet. He hunts in packs, a low living thing in any ocean can survive an attack of the killer whale. Yes, the deep, mysterious deep depths are teeming with straight, savage life. The small fish eat sea lava, and the tiny sea fish and the larger fish eat the sailor species. The killer fish swims slowly away, too slowly through the rocks towards a fluted, a beautiful fluted white shell. And the inexplorable law of survival continues. But our concern is with the killers of man, the killer whale sharks, and many huge eels of the Great Barrier Reefs, and the Caribbean one fierce fearsome species specimen is the moray eel. This eel is carnivorous that it is a flesh eater. And he will attack men. Man, if driven by hunger. But man, an adaptable creature, has learned how to survive in any environment. These are honest enemies recognized by any man anywhere as a danger to, of, to life and limb. But there are more instant seeming dangers in the ocean deep. No, come back. It is a Portuguese man of war. The tentacles float in a lethal cloud beneath the visible inf inflated bladder of the sail, and as his sting is felt by the swimmer, unlucky enough he is caught in the tentacles, and panic often does the rest. Everyone who lives near the ocean is short. Sure is sure knows anyone everyone that lives near the ocean's shore knows the dangerous sharks some aren't dangerous to man but many are and we don't often have time to find out which which are which in time for instance many people claim that octopus will never molest man but the pacific oak coast Skidderids known skin divers know we may encounter octopus pentacurus which grows to fourteen feet in diameter will ferociously attack anything that halt moves. But the most vicious killer of the deep is still the barracuda, found in all tropical and semi tropical seas, a slim Flashing killer, sometimes eight feet long and forty pounds of constant appetite. Caribbean fishermen know him and give him a wide berth. Yes, the ocean is full of living creatures which are dangerous to all living things, but man has met and conquered them for food as well as sport, and the end is the deadliest creature of all the living things in the sea on land or in the skies above.